everybody, it's me, One Double G, trying to do my this naive and give you guys my latest update. You feel me? Well, if you don't know, I'm a fan of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Clearly, I am. But it is time to give you my, I don't even know what week it is. And this is the most probably half-assed <laughs> update I'll ever do. But I just realized that several people that subscribe to me have had surgery recently. And I am so excited for you all. Um, in particular, Patricia, oh so marvelous, and Ezekiel Godwin. Um, I know there are lots of other people who are um, getting ready to have surgery or just had it. But I didn't have a list prepared, so I'm so sorry. But my thoughts and prayers are with you all. I am super duper excited. Um, so high five guys and best wishes for a speedy recovery. We have dispensed with the formalities. I want to go ahead and welcome all of my newest subscribers. I'm so glad that you could take part in this journey with me. And without further ado, let's get to the numbers, shall we? I started this journey at my highest recorded weight of 259 pounds, which is essentially when I started my preoperative diet. I weighed 248 pounds back in August 2013 when I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy in Memphis, Tennessee. Last update, I weighed in at, I think, maybe 189.5 pounds. And this week, I am weighing 191 pounds. 0.5 pounds which is a gain of approximately two pounds which would be rather bad which is yeah I guess kind of bad however guys I have had so much other stuff going on that really and truly um I hate to say it but the two pounds gain is actually pretty good because I had gained more than that believe it or not um, because about two days after my last video, um, which was about two weeks ago, entitled, Why Do I Make Videos? <laughs> a tornado slammed through my town where I live. Um, luckily for me, I took refuge in a courthouse, in a courtroom with um, judges and clients and the public and staff members. Um, so I was lucky and blessed to have made it through all of that. However, the part of town that I live in was completely slammed and I am not kidding. If you guys can tell, but like this used to be like an actual building, believe it or not. And now it is like, has a skylight and all sorts of cool stuff for free. <laughs> Um, it really isn't funny, but I don't know what else to, how else to process the craziness that's going on around me, really. I'm going to try to put some video footage of the aftermath or my area after the hurricane in here somewhere. Um, I would be lying if I did not say it had to be one of the scariest things that I've gone through probably ever. Um, surgery being one of them, mind you because I'm used to hurricanes, but you can go inland and avoid the worst parts of that. But a tornado is so unexpected and so unpredictable. It was just like, what? And it is so random. It could have easily have been my office as opposed to where I live. Um, it was just bananas. Um, but I will give it to my community and to, I guess, Mississippians in general. I don't know if it's because we're in the Bible Belt. I have no idea. But it is amazing how fast people are always willing to help out their neighbor and others. Within like, you know, as soon as the tornado was gone, we had, you know, people whipping out their personal chainsaws and trying to clear roads and, and do all sorts of things because that was the only way I could get home. And um, as I was driving, crawling through traffic, it just got worse and worse and worse. Um, until I was really afraid to turn into my neighborhood and see what it looked like. I consider, you know, myself so blessed and lucky that I came out of all of this with, you know, minimal, you know, like lasting injury or damage. Unfortunately, um, I've talked about how I wish the surgery would just rewire my brain because I'm proud of myself in that I don't Turn to food for every little comfort, solace, and all of that stuff. However, the stress of this tornado, <laughs> I don't know. I, felt my, I found myself resorting to my old ways and eating pretty 
pretty much everything in sight. It has been, it was the worst week, I think, of eating bad. I don't, bad in my entire post-operative life, let's put it that way. Um, so much so that I gained, prob I know I gained over three pounds, so the fact that I've lost some is a good thing. But at the same time, my gym was closed, I couldn't work out, couldn't do any of the stuff that I normally do. But like when things would really get stressful for me, I've always been a stressful eater. And this, I guess, was like the straw that broke the camel's back because I really fell back on my old habits and started eating so much stuff. I, I guess it was like the worst binge of my post-operative life. I mean, I found myself eating some of everything. And the fact that I found that I can eat more food than I used to certainly did not help matters in any way, shape, or form. Add to that the fact that um, my gym <laughs> sustained damage and closed down. Uh, that really didn't help my matters any more either. Um, but in the meantime, what I've been doing is basically going to work and on weekends been volunteering, helping um, all of the people that are around me that really did like sustain so, I don't know, the extent of their loss, I just can't even verbalize adequately. It, um, luckily nobody was seriously injured or the loss of life has been really, really, really minimal here. Um, due in part to news and tornado sirens that did it for them. But it is like, the rebuilding is like slow going. I guess it's just starting. The news cameras have long gone, but you know, this when the real work starts, I guess. So um, I don't really have much more to talk about other than that. Uh, my gym, or one of my gyms, um, has started back having classes. So I went to a class last week, but yeah. The pity party's over. The emotional eating is over, <laughs> Lord willing. Um, and it's just time to get back on my grind. So that's what's up with me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.